Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, Wes Troop, and I'm here with a newer movie for you this day. This day? Uh, <laughs> it is the movie I saw from Netflix recently, so you can obviously get it there. Get it from Netflix, Redbox, video stores, everywhere. So, this is the 2010 thriller, Buried. Oh, the John Cena story. Bury everyone that you can find. Anyway, <laughs> this is a different kind of bury. Uh, let's talk about it, shall we? Uh, 2010 thriller, as I said before, uh, which, after being involved in I... in... in... Uh, in... In, uh, in an Iraqi attack. Too many freaking vowels in there. Um... A truck driver named Paul, f f the alien, I guess that's coming out, no, <laughs> finds himself buried alive in a coffin with only a lighter and a cell phone. Will he be able to make it out alive? That's the big question, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, so that, that's, just, that's your synopsis. That's basically the 90 minutes. But uh, it stars Ryan Reynolds, who is the only person you, who you see in the film, but uh, he uses a cell phone, and he calls certain people. He calls his wife, played by Samantha Mathis, and uh, someone who, who's like the personnel guy for who he works for, Stephen, <laughs> who I called Stephanie last time, Stephen Tobolowski. Stephen, not Stephanie, who uh, you'll know, he played Bob on Heroes, and uh, he was in Glee as the... Uh, theater director and stuff. You know him if you see him. I didn't know it was him by his voice, but anyway, that's the main cast. Other than that, it's just random voices. Um, but yeah, what did I think of Buried? Should it have stayed Buried? We'll find out. Uh, I thought it was a good thriller flick, you know, uh, definitely good. Um, you know, I said, while watching a man trapped inside a box for 90 minutes with very little movement may sound boring, uh, it actually keeps your attention very easily and uh, by making you wonder what will happen next, you know. Um, I'm glad it was the length it was, kind of. It, it couldn't have gone any longer, I don't think. Otherwise, it would have been, oh, God, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, it, it really kept you on the edge of your seat waiting to see what would happen next. Some people may find it boring, who like a lot of action and whatnot, but... I mean, it's a dude in a box. I mean, that must not have taken much money to make, so... <laughs> Props, if you can make that exciting. Uh, a very unique film and premise uh, that will make you, I like these kind of films, think, what would you do in that circumstance? Okay, people, you're trapped inside a box under the ground. What, what would you do first, you know? It's like, uh, yeah, I agree, I'd do that, or I'd do that totally different, you know, that kind of thing. But you can, you can sort of see yourself in that predicament. Um, anyway, uh, you know, when, you, when you're the only person in a film who is seen by the camera, and you are on camera for 90 minutes, other than just like darkness going in and out, you have to be a very good actor. So Ryan Reynolds really gives us some uh, drama, shows off his dramatic chops in this role, um, unlike his usual com comedic. Um, and uh, he plays the character very well and makes you want to root for him to get out of the box. You're not like, oh, I don't really care what happens to him. You know what I mean? You're like, come on, man, get out. Um, whether he does or not, I'm not going to tell you. Um, Rodrigo Cortez's direction should be commended as well for keeping the audience in suspense for 90 minutes of a guy inside a box, you know? It's like, <laughs> it's a very interesting premise. And I, think, I really think they pulled it off here. Um, it could have went either way, you know, but... To me, they pulled it off. Uh, and I would not recommend this for the claustrophobic out there. <laughs> who, may, who are afraid of sh uh, tight spaces. They might be like, oh my god! You know? But uh, it, remember, it is just a movie. It's not real. <laughs> so, uh, therefore, the A-list gives the film Buried the rating of Do It. Yeah, I definitely suggest you check it out. Fans of thrillers, of uh, suspense... Definitely give uh, Barry a chance. As I said before, it's available through Netflix, Redbox, uh, and video stores anywhere near you. So, till uh, well, everyone, have a good weekend. Enjoy the Oscars. Um, I'll be giving my Oscar report next week. 
So, uh, def watch the A-list this week, as in today. Um, it's right above this, or below, whatever. Um, depending where you are. Um, uh, where I give my Oscar predictions. Uh, for the main categories, so you'll see what I predict and see if I'm right. So, until the ne uh, next episode, till then, Troop out.